And returning to our top story today, Syria has granted UN inspectors full access to the site of an alleged chemical weapons attack. It happened in the suburbs of Damascus. The government denies using chemical weapons, but opposition say it's responsible for killings hundreds. Now, former U.S. Ambassador to Syria Richard Murphy joins us now live from New York. And, sir, thank you for joining us today. Pleasure. We are now hearing reports this morning that Syria is now allowing the UN to investigate. What happens next if proof is found that chemical weapons were used? Well, first, let me say that uh, that's a surprising bit of news you've just uh, stated that Syria has so quickly agreed to this inspection. Uh, I guess two things have come together. The Russians have supported the investigation. And secondly, the UN Secretary General personally sent his top disarmament uh, inspector out to Damascus. Uh, she arrived yesterday. So I think the, the Syrian government has decided that uh, a speedy response is in its interest because delay will inevitably lead people to assume Syrian government's responsibility for the attack. Well, the Syrian authorities have denied any responsibility and have blamed terrorists for this. I think looking forward, we have heard that there is this so-called red line that President Barack Obama has been speaking of. And whether or not this line has been crossed in this case, we are going to find out um, by the review that the U.N. is doing. What happens if there is that confirmation? Where do we go from here? Uh, if there is confirmation that the Syrian government ordered this attack, uh, I think there will be inevitably a response in which uh, the United States will participate. President Obama has made clear that he does not want to see a unilateral and will not engage in a unilateral American intervention, but uh, an intervention supported once the evidence is all in, supported by, by others, uh, I think is, is, is a given, uh, uh, because this is a major, has been a major incident. Definitely a major incident that Obama has called troublesome. I, I guess the question at hand right now is whether or not there is a diplomatic or a political solution to all of this. What do you believe? What do you think? Well, the Syrians have, from the beginning of the upheavals two and a half years ago, said that all of their opposition was uh, manipulated by foreign terrorists, by uh, imperialists, by Zionists, uh, the usual suspects have been trotted out. So let's see what the investigators come up with this time. If they get on the spot quickly, that'll be very valuable because the, uh, the use of poison gas uh, leaves ephemeral traces, as I understand it. And the sooner a, an accurate scientific assessment is made, the better. The sooner the better, no doubt. We are uh, noting that Obama has been seeking approval. Obama, as well as Prime Minister Stephen Harper, have been reaching out to other foreign dignitaries. Yesterday, they were making calls, and today, we're ultimately finding out that the UN is uh, able to get onto the grounds. So still, these are all allegations at this point in time. But if, if Western military had intervened a year ago, it would have been justified, some are saying. But if the military intervenes now, what do you think will happen if they attempt to, I guess, get rid of Assad? What happens then? Well, intervention could take many forms. And uh, for the first time out of Washington, you've had in the last, in the last few days, uh, officials, while claiming anonymity, uh, assert that they are well-placed and that there could be a range of responses from missiles launched from naval ships in the Mediterranean against targets in Syria, use of the American Air Force. Uh, I think there is a wider variety of responses that uh, can, be, uh, can be made. I do not believe they would be with the clear intent of dislodging President Assad from his post as president of Syria. But it would be a very clear warning that, uh, uh, assuming the investigators have established the guilt of the government, that this must not be repeated. It will be strong enough to drive that point home to the Syrian authors of this attack. 
We have heard from the Syrian information minister basically warning that any sort of U.S. intervention in Syria will create very serious fallout in the turbulent Middle East. Obviously, this is of grave concern as well. How can this situation be handled properly? That's the $60,000 question. Hmm. It's not just the uh, Syrian Minister of Information. You've had comparable warnings out of Tehran, and their capability to create problems uh, has been well established. The neighborhood is under great pressure, the Lebanese government, Jordanian government, from the refugees, and there are things that, uh, that could be launched in those countries. I, uh, I hope it's uh, not going to prove to be the case. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I'd like to thank you for joining us today, Richard. I would appreciate your insight on this issue. Most welcome. Thank you. Richard Murphy, former U.S. ambassador to Syria. He joined us from New York.